New York and New Jersey lockdowns are back, and Thanksgiving's limited to 10 people in your own private home. I'm not sure about you guys, and you do whatever you think is safe for you and your family. However, I'm not going to abide by any arbitrary number to limit the amount of people in my own home during Thanksgiving. Regardless, this year will be a peaceful protest in my house, and we'll be serving turkey with all the trimmings. And there's absolutely nothing Cuomo or anyone else can do to stop that. As always, the pictures, videos, and articles discussed today are in the description below. And if you can, please take a second and hit that like and subscribe button right above. I'm trying to post new content more frequently. So Governor Cuomo announced yesterday that the new rules will go into effect on Friday, where all bars, gyms, restaurants, and bowling alleys must close by 10 p.m. For those of you who go to these places, myself and my family are included, are now forced to go before 10 p.m. Now, wouldn't this create more of a crowded type of space within those establishments? It doesn't really make sense to me because if you're going to patronize these places regardless, you're just forcing those same people to squish in their visiting times into a smaller timetable. So he keeps touting this whole science first, science says rhetoric, but doesn't this go completely against that? Take, for example, my wife. She went out to dinner the other night with two of her girlfriends. They went out to dinner, had a couple of drinks. They left at 8 p.m., got home, you know, whatever, 11, 11.30. So instead of, uh, you know, leaving at 8, they probably would have to leave at 6 or at 7. So what would that accomplish? You're just forcing these people to be squished into a tighter time frame. Uh, you know, and what happens? Uh, COVID does not spread after 10 p.m. in New York? The same goes for our friends over in New Jersey. Governor Murphy signed into order on Tuesday that goes into effect today with much of the very same restrictions that we have in New York. Gyms, bars, clubs, and other places will not be allowed to operate indoor dining and drinks after 10 p.m. I just feel absolutely terrible for these businesses that have to go through, that have gone through hell in the last eight months. Now you have all these other new restrictions. And what are we on? Day uh, 279 of 15 days to slow the spread? This is only going to further the destruction of our economy, as well as our local, small, and big businesses. Let's take a quick look at, uh, well, you know, what I have up here in the background is... Uh, Andrew Cuomo tweet saying, this Thanksgiving spread thanks, not COVID. Looks like a Photoshop picture anyway, and it's terrible. But what's funny is the one right below it is a meme that says, police, we know you brought a turkey that serves 10 to 12. I'm going to pull up another one of uh, Governor Cuomo's tweets here. It says, New York files the science. We know indoor gatherings and parties are a major source of COVID spread. To slow the spread, New York State will limit indoor gatherings at private residences to 10 people. This limit takes effect Friday at 10 p.m. If you go ahead and scroll down, you're just uh, there's endless comments, memes, and discussions about him being a tyrant and a dictator. New York State is another tweet from Cuomo. New York State is New York State is taking action to stop the spread in response to rising COVID numbers. Any establishment with a liquor license, including bars and restaurants, must close at 10 p.m. Gyms must also close at 10 p.m. These new statewide rules will take effect Friday. So this is from the actual New York State, uh, New York.gov website. It goes into detail about the full restrictions. I will, again, everything linked in the uh, description below if you want to read it. I'm not going to. I already went over most of this. And then we have an article here from NJ.com that goes into Governor Murphy's uh, order that goes into effect today, where restaurants, bars, clubs, lounges, and other establishments that serve food uh, will be barred from operating their indoor dining between 10 and 5 a.m. So at least uh, in New Jersey, um, you can still continue outdoor dining from, the, from what this sounds like. And... Here's another article again. I'll link it below from NBC New York that goes into a little bit more of uh, Cuomo's restrictions and uh, I just I just don't understand how they plan on enforcing this. You know, are we gonna 
get knocks on our front door uh, during Thanksgiving dinner to verify how many people we have in our own home? Is that even legal? Is it even possible? Is it even remotely enforceable? I don't think so. And you sure as hell ain't coming into my home to check. So just one last tweet before I end this. Again, it's a short video, but this... Andrew Cuomo put out uh, these focus zones where he's trying to hone in on areas with uh, higher higher uh, COVID positive rates, and they're classifying them into uh, different zones based on their, uh, I guess their their positivity rate. Um, and again, I'll leave this link. It, it goes into detail and it identifies specific clusters and zones, you know, yellow being less of an issue where if it goes into orange, that means there's higher, I guess, metrics of, uh, of positive cases and then further restrictions on businesses and how things are operating within these. Uh, oh, they're actually calling uh, red zones not orange, but oh no. Okay, here we go. Orange warning zone. It, orange is a warning zone. And I'm assuming red would be the uh, bad, high COVID spread. Um, how effective this is, I don't know. They're claiming it was effective. This is, you know, the first place they implemented that was in Brooklyn. But we know how that worked out where they targeted uh, Jewish businesses and, uh, and basically were just fining people for no good reason. That's about it. Um, Again, you do whatever you feel is safe for you and your family. You wear a mask if you want to wear a mask. Um, have 20 people over on Thanksgiving if that's what you're going to do. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. It's absolutely ridiculous, more than likely unconstitutional, unenforceable, and downright disgusting. <laughs>